y'all, I'm Angie. Welcome to my channel where I do stuff. If you're new here, thank you for joining me. And if you're a returning subscriber, thanks for coming back. So today's video is gonna be kind of short, kind of simple. Um, honestly, I'm still a little depressed over Kazi and I just didn't really feel like making a big production this week. So today's video is inspired by a project I saw uh, Courtney from Creative on the Cheap do a couple of weeks ago. I'll link that video below. But basically I am making a plaque to hang by my door that is a hook holding a hair roller because I do still have one Aussie, Hennessy the extra dog, and his hair gets all over everything too. And if you've ever had a hairy dog, you will also probably know that it will take literal years for the hair of my other dogs to be completely gone from this house now that they're gone. And I don't have guests that often, but they don't need to be dragging my dog's hair into their vehicle with them when they leave. That's just unnecessary. So to start, I am painting this plaque that I got at Ollie's for $3.99. Um, I am painting this with an oddly goopy, thick and gross chalk paint. Um, I mean, it's still doing the job. So I am an Aussie owner and I got my first Aussie in 1999. Her name was Holly. She was a blue Merle with blue eyes. She was fantastic. And I fell in love with the breed. And those are the only dogs really that I've had since then. Um, I've also had a, a, a Toy Fox Terrier in there, but um, I grew up with one of those. So I am no stranger to lots and lots of dog hair. And I mean, I have a shop vac that I use in my house. I don't have like, I mean, I have a fancy vacuum cleaner, but I don't use it for cleaning up dog hair. So this hair roller plaque is actually pretty useful. I've had some really sweet comments on my last video about Cosworth. So in the comment section here, tell me what kind of pet you have or have had. Have you ever had a really hairy animal that wreaked havoc in your home with its fur? <laughs> Let me know below. Now for the next part, I did use my Cricut to uh, cut some vinyl for me to put on here. And if you don't have a Cricut, there are a million other ways that you can put the words or letters or images um, on something like this. Um, you could hand letter it if you wanted to. You could get the rub on transfers. You could get individual letter stickers. And yeah, there are a million different ways that you could do it. You could get somebody on Etsy to make these for you. Um, but I have a Cricut and I have a ton of vinyl and it just made sense to do it this way. So I went around and around with a lot of different sayings. Uh, there's like five that are typically used from Etsy sellers that make these. And I just wanted something different because I feel like oftentimes I apologize to my guests for them getting dog hair on them. The dog doesn't care. So this is what we came up with. And while I was at Ollie's, I got some of these uh, generic command strip hooks. And I just chose to use one of those up near the top so that I could put the hair roller on it. Um, the hole in the handle of the hair roller wasn't quite big enough, so I did have to use uh, some cute paw print uh, ribbon to uh, put a little loop on it so that it would hang there. but. And then I remembered that the little sawtooth hanger was on the long side instead of the short side, which was my new top. So I had to get my tiny screwdrivers and take the sawtooth hanger out. 
Um, the frame isn't real wood, it's like some kind of composite plastic or something. So um, I just used a push pin to make new holes up at the top and then I screwed the sawtooth hanger in so that it would hang correctly. Now, the only thing that I realized after I hung this up on the wall is that one side is lighter weight than the other because one side doesn't have a huge hair roller hanging from it. So I'm gonna have to put something on the back on that other side to make it a little heavier so that it will balance out even when it's hanging on the wall. And this is the final product. I think it's really cute. And because I didn't seal the vinyl in with Mod Podge or anything, I can always peel it off and redo the words or add other dogs. So yeah, I like it. What do you think? Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, then I hope you will consider subscribing because I would love to see you back here next week when I do more stuff. Bye.